taken this fish out the pond, it has, um, you see this white on here, it's like cotton wool. Yeah? So we decided to take it out of the pond and I put it in its little hospital tank where we're going to treat it. So I'm treating it with this. It's an uh, Interpet Antifungals and Fin Rot. It's already had its first dose. Yeah, I bought this tank for it uh, to be like a little hospital tank. So it has its filter, it's got a filter in here and it's pumping the water through. It comes out a little thing at the back and I've got an air stern in there. So I spent maybe 50 quid <laughs> on a tank to look after a fish that actually could be replaced quite cheaply but I spend money to um, look after the poor thing. This fish is a female. Um, she's full of eggs at the moment. It's springtime. She's full of eggs. So um, she's wanting to get back in the big pond, but she's not too uncomfortable in there. She's got a bit of room to swim around. Um, so that's so bad. Right, what I'm doing <laughs> is um, I'm going to be recording the water quality over the next few days. Maybe not checking it every day, but it doesn't seem to be too big a thing to check. Saturday we started. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think it's going to take more than one week. But just in case. And then, then twelve. Okay, I've got a test kit and it's checking uh, NR3, NR2, GH, KH, PH. A little piece of pH and CL2. <sighs> I'm going to put that in. I need to find out. What's good so for this, right? NR three not to twenty five according to the thing. Not to twenty five is okay. The next one not is an okay. The next one is four to less than sixteen. Four to less than sixteen. Ah, uh -huh, the other one. Here choose three to ten.
through to a ton. Next one is 6.8 to, to 8.4. Next one is not. Okay. So that's it. I'll put it back out. And jobs are good. Hello, it's now Monday, and um, let's see how it changed. You had some fungus on this front fin, that's gone completely. She had a few spots of fungus on her body, and they've gone. She's still got this on the dorsal fin, but it looks a lot looser. It looks like it could fly off soon. Uh, now when I came to the tank today, it was quite white, it was quite cloudy, a white cloud. Um, now it's a new tank and obviously the filter's not working yet, so things um, are still to um, start working in the sort of filter inside of it. But um, what I did was I did, um, I halved, I emptied out half the water, filled it up again, then emptied out half the water a second time and filled it up. So it's only got about a quarter of the original water. Three quarters of the water has been changed. So when it clouds up, I'm just going to do that for now. Um, it's morning now, it's just before nine o'clock in the morning. I'm going to. I'll give it another water change if it turns bad um, when I come back from work later on tonight. Um, but she's um, she's swimming around. She's um, looking for food. I'll put a little bit of food in there for her. So um, she ain't doing too bad. As I said, the bits that were on her body have all cleared up. Yeah. And this off this first fin, this had a little bit of fluff on this first fin. And that's cleared up, so she's doing a bit better. We just need to get rid of this. Just need to get rid of this off a of dorsal fin. And then she'll be okay, and she can go back. And start playing with her friends back in the pond. Okay, that's the next day. Um... Because the filter and everything's still new, I'm having to do a lot of water changes. The water goes white cloudy. Um, so I've just done a water change. As I do, I take half the water out and replace it. So that will be 50% uh, of the original water left. I do it again, so that will be 12 uh, 25% of the original water left. I do it again, so that will be 12% of the original water left. And I do it again, so that will be about 6% of the wa original water left. I change the water each time, taking half out, yeah, and then topping it back up, and then doing it again, and topping it back up, doing it again. I did that four times. Uh, in a row, so there's only about 6% of the original water 
as I say, it's only because the filter is um, all new and so there isn't the microbes in there that would be breaking down the um, ammonia, uh, the nitrates and stuff like that. It's just something you have to do if you've got a brand new um, aquarium. Um, as for the fish, she's doing okay. The cotton wool on the spines, it's come off from the fin and it's just, you see, it's just stuck on the spines. Yeah. Now because I've put brand new water in, you see it's just stuck on the spines now. So because I've put brand new water in, I've redosed it. You're supposed to only dose it after seven days or so, but I thought, well, if it's got brand new, more or less brand new water in, it maybe, it's, you know, hasn't got the chemical in there anymore. So, so that's been redosed. We're just waiting for that bit to float off her, and then we'll see how we can go from there. We've got a bit of food in there. She's not particularly eating, and then I've got a. Uh, one of the holiday blocks that she can nibble on if she wants. I'll put some floating sticks in as well in case she prefer them. Um, if she doesn't eat the floating sticks in about a couple of hours time, three or four hours time, I'll take them out. And because um, I don't want them to cause more bacteria. Um, and I may have to change the water too many times. At the moment, I changed the water against last night, so it was about 12 hours between a water change. Yeah, as I say, it's one of those things you're just going to have to do. If you've got a new tank, just keep changing Every time it goes cloudy, just keep changing it until the bacteria builds up in the filter. And then the filter will sort it out, but at the moment, we're not doing too bad. She's still happy. Right, I'm back from work. I've just done a water change again because um, the water was a little bit cloudy. It wasn't very cloudy, it was a little bit cloudy. I emptied half of it out and refilled it, and then emptied half of it out again and refilled it so she's got quite clear water. Um, the reason why it does it, if you look at this, this is the filter. It's still just a blue filter. There's no bacteria in there to eat the nitrates that get built up. So it'll keep going white and I'll just keep changing the water as it does. Um, as for the fungus, if you look, yeah, the little bit that was hanging on to the, to the um, spines on the dorsal fin, the bones, I should say, on the dorsal fin, it's come off. So that's good. We're nearly there, I think. All that's left is the end of the spans and end of the, um, the bits of bone. Um, I decide what to do tomorrow. I should think I'll be keeping her in the tank for a bit longer. Maybe do give her some antibiotics or something. Just to make sure she's okay. Maybe give you another dose of um maybe give her give her another dose of antifungus just to make sure that um everything's gone. Uh and then we'll see. So that's it for now. Okay, this is gonna be the last little bit of video. So I just want to go through the equipment I've used. Yeah. First of all, the tank was a Aquaria startup. Yeah. It's a 17 litre tank. I got the right one because it was hospital, it just seemed more appropriate somehow. <laughs> uh, it has a filtering. This side is for a heater. There isn't a heater in it. You don't get a heater with it. In the middle of it is a filter and then there's a, a little mini pump on the far end which is quite nice. Um, of course you can see there's an air stone there and that's going to... Uh, 
parts go into this, which is a Aqua One Aeropod 100. So that's been pumping the air into it, so that's been quite nice. Um, I've been feeding it tetrapon sticks and also this holiday feeder which has got a couple of lumps on the side missing but I don't think she's really realised that there's food there. Yeah, okay, I'll put some I don't think she's really realised that there's food there, so I don't know if that was a good idea or not. I'm putting in pond sticks instead. Um, other things to do the water changes, I've been using a all grade siphon set. So that's um. Pump, but um, I've been using to help me doing the siphoning. Uh, I've been testing the water each day. If you remember, I've got um, one second. I printed out my chart I did on the computer, and each day I've been testing the water, the only thing that's really spiked up was the nitrates but of course the filter's new so I was expecting that so I've been testing testing it with a Tetris te, Tetris 6 in 1 test if it is that sticks here, there's one and I've been treating it with Interpet Antifungus and Finrock. And um, she's been doing real well. I'm going to put some dark behind her again so you can see a bit better. As you can see, the um, fin rots, the cotton wool disease has come off the fin. Um, I'm just going to give her another dose in a couple of days time just to make sure there's absolutely none left and every every last piece of the cotton wool disease is gone so I'm just going to give her another dose in a couple of days time and then that's it, she'll be good to go good to go back in the pond so um, thanks for watching the videos this has been my poorly fish